I'm currently non-executive on the boards of Rolls-Royce, of Associated British Foods and of Keller Group. I think first of all, when I first got my first non-executive role, um, which was six years ago with Keller, I had already got 33 years of experience. And although that experience was all in Shell, it was very, very broad. So I'd done m and I'd done strategy and capital allocation, I'd run global commercial businesses, I'd done a lot of change management. So I had a lot of different experiences that were very relevant to different companies. Um, I think the other thing that was really important was to effectively launch a campaign. So I decided I wanted a non-executive role. It was by no means easy to get that first one. And I really had to think about a marketing plan, how to translate all my experiences into exactly how they would be important for different companies, building my network, building my profile. So you know, it was quite a concerted effort on my part to get that first role. I think since then, once you've got one and you're established, and I then took on the chair of the remuneration committee, you know, so you get established that you're credible to be on boards. The other very critical thing I did then was to do one last executive role, which was running group strategy. And I think that was something that people immediately can grab, you know, strategy and shell, they understand that. It gave me a lot of interaction with the shell boards, and I think that was really crucial in enabling me to then move to some very big FTSE 100 companies. So I think in some way, moving to a new board, there are also always things about it that you don't expect because it is ultimately a group of people and how they interact and the relationships and so on, you can't possibly know until you actually experience it. And also, you know, I think there are always surprises. So with my first non-executive role, I think I'd been on the board one month and we did our first profit warning, followed by several more. You know, the, the business is always changing and so there are always new things coming along and you know, new t issues and, and challenges to be addressed. Um, on the other hand, I was very, very careful in selecting boards to think about how inclusive and open they would be, um, choosing boards where there were no egos, where I'd met all of the board members. And so, you know, everyone's really there working inclusively, collaboratively for the good of the company. And that's been something very important for me. I think in terms of you know, what the boards are addressing, you know, it is really specific to the business, the situation it's in, and they all have their own challenges. And that's really what brings you know, an awful lot of fulfillment from the enormous diversity and, and variation that there is.